Welcome back guys, JC here, and I want to talk about ESC protection uh, because I have ESCs that I have had for over a year now and they're, they're still working perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, in 2016 I have only fried 8 ESCs and those 8 ESCs were on two different builds and both builds I flew into a pond. But other than that, I have never had an ESC get damaged other than flying into a pond. I still have all of my one shot 125 ESCs and even the ESCs before that. So how do I do this? How do I make them last so long? Well, I notice a lot of people use heat shrink. You know, you see the clear heat shrink across the ESC. Yeah, that protects the ESC from getting fried against the carbon fiber because carbon fiber does conduct electricity, but it provides no protection. Not only that, but I hate how uh, when the ESC gets hot, it sometimes wears holes in the bottom of the clear heat shrink. I'm not saying my way is the best way, I'm just sharing with you my way. I think the secret to doing it my way is I use this double-sided tape or f foam tape, whatever you want to call it. I get this off of Amazon, uh, it's I don't know, for like five or six bucks. The roll is actually twice this size, I've just been using it forever. Not only is it good for uh, what I do with my ESCs, but also use it to mount uh, my receivers and just about anything else. But I don't use it to actually stick anything to anything. I'm not going to stick the ESC to the frame. I'm actually using it because it's really good cushion. I think the most common uh, damage that ESCs get is uh, you see these little orange things. These are capacitors and I'd say eight times out of ten the capacitor is what breaks off in a crash. You might hit a tree branch or a rock or anything and these things break off so easy. So what I'm going to do is take one of these strips and they're already cut for you. You just peel it off and they come in these little rectangles. Uh, now some ESCs like this 20 amp it's the perfect size already but this is a larger 30 amp ESC, so what I will do is actually turn it sideways. And I'm gonna cover one half of it with one piece, and then use another piece for the other half. And there we go, now our ESCs have some foam padding. Next I take some electrical tape and slide it under. I'm gonna trim off the excess. Trim off the excess again. And there we go. Now the next thing is sometimes, uh, I, I mean I used to do this, but tree branches and stuff like that would actually grab the ESC and it would pull the wires out and sometimes even rip the pad off with it. Once the pad gets ripped off then the ESC is worthless. So to keep that from happening I cut another piece of electrical tape a little bit longer and I just put it right on top just like that and trim off the excess and there you go now the foam padding is going to protect those capacitors that knock off very easily and no tree branches can snag the ESC you may be wondering now well JC won't it overheat I'm gonna say I have never and I'm being perfectly honest with you never in my entire history of using ESCs and flying multirators never have I had an ESC overheat ever honestly I, I I think that's either like a old wives tell or a rumor or I don't know what it is uh, I mean I'm sure it happens but this is perfectly fine like this is not going to make your ESC overheat unless it's just a bad ESC or like a bad brand or a knockoff or maybe it's a cheap ESC something like that I don't know but I've never had it happen that's going to do it for this one. Uh, short video, I know. I just wanted to share with you guys. So thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.